Investigators were still in Gordon, Wisconsin Saturday, building a murder and kidnapping case against 21-year-old Jake Patterson. But the Barron County Sheriff says there's only one person who can take credit for breaking the case. She took that first step. Taking that step was just unbelievable. I think that's a lesson we can teach our kids. I think that's a lesson that we can teach when we say, how do we talk about this with our kids? Never give up hope. Keep your prayers alive. You get into a situation, you never give up. There'll be an opportunity for you to take advantage of. Any closer to understanding or revealing how these two came into contact or how he came to target Jamie? Still no evidence to produce or that I've been told about that shows any connection to any of the Kloss family members. I don't know if he just saw her or what the connection is, but there's been no contact like everybody thinks. We are sitting in front of the jail here. He's not that far away. Yeah, he's um, less than a football field away from us. What do you think about that? I don't think about that. I think about her at home when we got to bring her back to Barron County. Have you seen Jamie yet? I have not. All I was told is she woke up after a good night's sleep in a safe home and had a smile on her face. And uh, <laughs> yeah. What would you tell people that want to show their community support for Jamie, wanting to know if there's an event or something they can do to celebrate her. When Jamie wants to have a party, we'll have a party, but not until she wants to have one. But we still need their hope, we still need their prayers. We need Jamie's healing prayers. Was there a hardest day or hardest moment through these last three months? To tell the public that we didn't have any new tips, but we've been working on it for two months, was very frustrating. But then we went to events like the tree lighting. and that hope and those kids coming up and saying, just find my classmate. Okay, you just re-sparked me. I'm ready to go, let's do this. But you have a couple of kids and you have your own 13-year-old. I do, I have a 13 and a 16-year-old. How hard was that and how did you deal with that? A couple extra hogs even though they're 13 and 16. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's been hard, been a little different. Keep track of them. I always did before in my job of seeing the worst in people, but I saw a lot of good here and I saw a lot of community support. But you were saying you believe the community is gonna be okay? Yeah, and I know we can do anything now. So taking on, you know, this healing process and helping Jamie is gonna be simple for us because I've seen what we can do together.